ever since I qualified, I've been really interested in children's vision. Um, partly because I find the subject fascinating, but also because it's great fun working with young people. Because the best way, I think, to engage the child in the eye exam is to turn it into a game, is to make it fun. And if it's fun for the child, it tends to be fun for the optometrist as well. It can be quite fun, especially when they're very young when you're using pictures. And it's good to get them accustomed to that experience from a young age so that it builds on that as they get older. Making it enjoyable is half the battle, but also respecting the child as a young person. We wouldn't do a test to an adult without explaining that test, and I don't think we should do it to the child either. Most children have an inquisitive mind, um, they are interested, and if we explain what we're doing and why we're doing it, um, then it will engage them. I think it's really important to make the child feel comfortable, um, so it's good to have a chat with the child directly as well as the parents to find out what, what the issues are um, and make the child feel comfortable with the test. It reassure the child that it, it's not going to hurt, um, that there's going to be some fun bits to it as well, and, uh, and that usually puts the child at ease. The most challenging children, of course, are the younger ones or even the older ones with a very short attention span. And then really you need to accept that you may have a fairly limited window of time during which you can get cooperation from the child. And this is where practitioners need to accept that they will sometimes need to get a child back. It's something that we're often a bit hesitant to ask the patient to come back because we feel that that implies that we may have failed. I don't think so. You know, GPs do it all the time and I think that, that we need to explain to parents that um, sometimes a test with a child is best repeated to be absolutely sure of the result. And I think if practitioners know that they've got that safety net, that will increase their confidence. I think there's three areas where we really need to uh, get better eye care for children. I mean, one is in binocular vision problems, uh, and many binocular vision anomalies can be treated by the community optometrist. So as long as you, you pick these things up very early, often you can improve the vision to either the same level as the good eye or, or a very similar level. I would like every child that struggles in the classroom quite early in the process of having their difficulties addressed to have an eye exam. Optometrists have an important role to play to look for co-occurring visual problems that can impact on a child's learning. Thirdly and most importantly, I think routine eye care for children should be something um, that parents engage with. It's much more important nowadays. The prevalence of childhood myopia has doubled in 50 years. One in six children at around the age of 12 will nowadays be short-sighted. The NICER study shows that this is a bit an increasingly an issue affecting primary school children. So myopia control um, is what I think we should all be looking at and what I think as a profession we should be funding a lot more research into. But already today there were some interventions that will slow myopia progression in all likelihood and we should be engaging with that. I think really we, we need to deal with this ourselves as a profession. Now it would be great if we can encourage the government to publicise it too, but actually preaching should start with us. The AOP recommends that children are tested from an early age and on a regular basis. We would say once every two years at least or more frequently. Uh, it's particularly important to pick up these problems in early childhood because that's when you can really um, treat them effectively. The AOP is producing some resources starting with a poster which will arrive with the June edition of Optometry today.